Okay, we're going to work in some pointillism again today. Everybody seems to uh, really like this. So I thought um, I thought we would give it a try again. It's uh, really quite a interesting art form. Um, especially with watercolor. Uh, it, it takes a little bit of time to get used to, you know, how um, how to make the pen move in, or not the pen, but the brush move in a way that uh, is helpful for you. But uh, I think once you get a grip on it, it's, um, you know, it's a lot of fun to do. So I'm, I'm going to just put in some uh, pen trees in here and this is a, a little bit of shoreline here and it sort of comes out into a jaggedy sort of a end, end of the pier here. Uh, we're going to take, we're going to make some yellow. So I'm just going to wet an area here and you know it's already kind of yellowy but we're going to pick up some very bright brilliant yellow. Uh, I'm going to suggest to you that when you're watercolor painting um, using, using yellow first will usually, uh, give you the best effect. Uh, I would, I, I usually paint, um, lightest to darkest, but that's not always the case. So I'm just trying to put in some dots. Okay. So remember, uh, you know, pointillism should just be, you're just trying to get some dots on the page. Don't worry about how many dots get some dots on the page and then uh, you know get them dried up you know whether you leave it sit or you use a hair dryer whatever the case may be get your yellow on there and then uh, let it dry up this is working out not too bad and you'll notice all, all these pointillism paintings that I'm doing in this series, I'm, I'm not painting in any, any sky. I, I want you to just sort of get used to, just put the paint on the page. Don't worry about the sky at this point. Okay, let's let this dry up. Okay, so I took some of my yellow and just mixed it in with some of this red that I have here. And this is all dried up really, really well. So I'm going to put some orangey, points on here and I'm trying to put it on wherever the page is white and wherever it is that I think I need an orange blob of a tree. I don't think of these as individual leaves or anything. I just think of it as a orange section of the tree and you can move pretty quickly with pointillism if you want, you know, once you catch on to how hard or how light or to touch the page and, and how much paint you can see, I, I really only go back and pick up paint for each individual tree, not each individual dot, right? So, you know, try to make your trees, you know, jaggedy, you know, more tree-like. Get a lot of dots on wherever it is that you think you need dots. I'm gonna put some more down across here. And you probably wanna you probably wanna to try to dry uh, between each color. My I, I I grab a hair dryer and I just try to dry it up, you know, between each color. If I'm working outside, it's a lot easier. It'll just dry up, you know, because of the sun and the wind for you. All right. Take your hair dryer to that and come right back. Okay, so I'm gonna put um, some green foliage. You know, there's still a little bit of green here and there, so I'm gonna put a little bit of a little bit of green foliage to this. But we're gonna keep the green sort of to a minimum, right? We're not gonna use a lot of green. There's there's some green left, but there's not a lot of green left. So I'm going to clean my brush out here, and I'm going to pick up some uh, 
Payne's Gray. Now Payne's Gray is an interesting is an interesting color because it's sort of a combination of blue and black. And I'm going to add in some some pine trees. But I'm not going to I'm not going to make these pine trees green. I'm going to make them with my Payne's Gray sort of dappled into the back and I'm going to add three here. Just like that and we'll let that dry up and we'll come back and put in another uh, layer in that. But we're also going to come back in here. We're going to put some Payne's Gray along our shoreline here. Just like that. And we're going to put in a little bit of Payne's Gray along here because there's some sort of dying, dead um, foliage and some rocks and things along there. So I think we'll add a little bit of that in there and a little bit more across here. There's also a little bit of a sandy beach right here that I'm going to add just like that. And we'll let all those colors sort of bleed together. Again, we're going to dry this and come right back. Okay, so we're going to add a little bit more uh, in the way of these trees right here. We're just going to sort of put another layer on top of this. Just in the white space, just touch it, you know, just to make the tree a little bit fuller. Just like that. Pick up a little bit more paint. That's not too bad. That gives you a really nice you know, second layer to that. That's all right. And we're going to take the same Payne's Gray. We're going to go back through here again. And I really want you to get used to the idea of, you know, drying you know, between every layer. It's, it sounds monotonous, but, and really it is monotonous, but it gives you a chance to, you know, ha take a break, have a look at your painting, see how it's going, see what you need to add, what you don't need to add, where you need to work, where you can work less. All right, that's not turning out too bad. We're gonna give this one last dry. Okay, so this is some sienna that I have here on my brush. And I mixed a little bit of a yellow into it to give it sort of a golden kind of a color. You know, because we're nearing the end of fall, everything sort of has this, you know, very um, golden kind of a color to it because the leaves are the leaves that aren't off the tree are you know very very dead or dried up at this point and they're getting ready to fall off and thus the name fall but um yeah i want to sort of signify that by making them sort of this golden brownish kind of color and it should give us a really nice tone to our painting. I'm gonna add a little bit more along here, wherever it is that you think you need some more color or some more foliage, some more thickness in your painting. I think this is turning out all right for us. And I think we're gonna end this. You can keep on working. you're currently a subscriber thanks a lot I really appreciate it and if you're not currently a subscriber why not please subscribe to my channel I'd love to hear from you leave me a question or a comment maybe a suggestion for a painting that you want to see thanks a lot and we'll see you again next time have an awesome day
kind of decided this didn't have enough red to it. So I'm going to go through here and just add a little bit of red and see what happens. You know, bump up the saturation level a little bit. See if people will hang on and keep watching while I do this. I hope you do, because I think this is going to turn out for me. As long as that's turned out not too bad, actually. Thanks for hanging around for the bonus round here. I think that's turned out very cool for us. All right, thanks for hanging around. See you again next time.